And uh, yeah, so we're gonna I, going back to the happy hour improv jam session and talking about what people can expect when they attend. This takes place every first and third Wednesday at Theater Seven in downtown Las Vegas, which is right on Third Street. Yeah, yeah and it's 1406 it's, South Third Street. Yeah. Charleston so if, you, if you come to the I-15, you get off of Charleston, head towards the Smith Center, but don't go to the Smith Center. <laughs> go south on Third Street, and you'll eventually hit. It. <laughs> that's gonna. That's gonna. Wait, that's gonna be the quote from Curtain Call. Now. It's like, well, don't go to the Smith Center. Curtain Call. <laughs> the redheaded stepchild of the Smith Center is nice. Okay. No, but it's every first and third Wednesday from seven to nine p.m. You can uh, pay ten dollars cash at the door, or you can visit Theater Seven LV. Dot com for more details with regards to the shows. And, and if you've ever seen Whose Line Is It Anyway, very much uh, similar to that, except uh, uh, the audience is uh, the game players, the cast members. So And it's hosted by a different overweight guy. So Oh. <laughs> oh uh, Self, <laughs> self-deprecating jokes are the funniest. Yeah. <laughs> In, in, inside joke, inside jokes about uh, your your weight, Anthony. It, yeah. The, although yeah. you can see it on YouTube when we post. That's it true. On this, so. <laughs> Which people will be rolling when they <laughs> Which watch. Which reminds that. me, we are taping our shows from now on, so please check us out on YouTube as well, so you can see us turn red. <laughs> yeah, our fail. I, 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 uh, there'll be some links coming up. Uh, you, you guys, were, before the commercial break, you were talking about uh, the fact that uh, uh, the Happy Hour Jam will do short form. And long form, and kind of had to cut you off, Anthony, uh, before you could get a full yeah, description. Yeah, I don't bills. understand radio time. Uh, and and uh, well, I, we don't either. Uh, <laughs> we, we we get this little red light That's from the it. magical producer, you know, a Charlie's Angels type thing. It's like Chris is over here in the corner, <laughs> stabbing me in the back with a sharpened number two pencil. <laughs> got Silent a alarm. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know, uh, the short form, and you guys are going to uh, be pimped in a moment here uh, to, to do a short form game for our, our audience. Uh, and, and we don't have time for a long form game. That's all right. Uh, but how would, how would you describe a long form game? Uh, well, basically, what long form is, uh, kind of like I was explaining earlier, is uh, a troop will come out and get a suggestion. And it can be, normally, it's just like a one word suggestion. So let's say we get a suggestion of like cup, you know. They will then take that suggestion and use it to make characters, situations, uh, basically create a story. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're watching it play out as though you would like a play starring two people. Um, and it's all being made up right off the top of their heads. And normally what you're seeing is that you're seeing an important moment in these two people's lives. A snapshot. Yeah. Exactly, it's a snapshot. These two people have known each other for however long it's been. And today is the day something different happens to them. Ah. And so we see that happen and how it affects their relationship and everything. Uh -huh. And in, in a situation of a long form show, when you're going on for like 20 to 30 minutes, there will be edits to that scene. So that scene goes away for a while, and now we see a new scene that uses that same suggestion, but can take it in a different direction. So it's improv episodic form. It, it, episodic it's kind of, way to There's kind of like a soap opera, and, and you go back to it. But there is structure to some long forms. Uh, sure. There are, uh, there's the Herald, there's a Spoon River, um, there's a whole bunch of different um, long form and, see, and if you go this Wednesday, it's the long form version of yes. the show. So, so how does that work with the, the audience? Way that that... You can't have the entire audience participating right. in the long form. Uh, so the way that that works is when you show up, you can put your name in a hat. Or whatever we afforded that week. We normally don't have hats. But as long as it's not a visor. Please bring, <laughs> please bring your own hat. Please bring your hat. <laughs> uh, so you put your name in a, in a hat or dish or otherwise. And then we start the show and we will draw five to six names at random. Mm -hmm. And then we have a uh, random name, band name generator, and we name the troupe. Nice. They go outside, and we give them a few minutes to kind of warm up with each mm -hmm. other. And then we do a short form game in between. So it's just like if you're coming to the regular jam. Oh, sure. Uh, and then they come back in, and they do a full 20 minute set based on nice. whatever format they want to do, based on any suggestion it is that they feel like taking. Mm -hmm. They just go for it. Uh, and it's really kind of the purest form of what an improv jam is. Sweet. Because it's like, Show up, get in the group, and do stuff. Yeah, you know? And it, there's got to be some sort of reckless <coughs> abandoned freedom. Because it, 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 good or bad, if it fails or if it's just brilliant, I mean, either way... It, either way, you're never going to see it again. And, right. And, and, and that's, you know, again, with, with improv and, and uh, the theatrical experience, a lot of people just don't quantify improv as... Uh, Theater. Or as, or as a skill. And there really is a skill to mm -hmm. being sharp and being able to yeah. 
know, be focused in a scene and listen to your stage partner or multiple partners because you can't have multiple partners. In well, and that's what I've always argued. We talked the first uh, first week we did this about how theater is so important because. I mean, if I wanted to watch Hamlet, I mean, I could get the Mel Gibson version, put it in, and I could frame by frame that mother if I wanted to. I could, and I could watch the Brown same version. It's <laughs> twice as long. But it's <laughs> therefore, better. Um, but the the thing is, I uh, you know, you can watch it again and again. It's always going to be the same. Right. Theater. I don't care how many times you go and see it. Even if it's the same actor, the same you know director, same production. It's going to be different. Mm -hmm. And and there's value in that. And there's 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 um, you know. It challenges artists in a different way, and in, in, in relation, it challenges the uh, because you have a relationship with the audience. Well, and, and that's that's the one thing that always drew me to it, uh, and uh, I, I've fallen away from it recently, just with the regular theater uh, doing. But twelve-step uh, program. He's yeah. fallen away. Uh, but no, uh, what I was uh, and, and Anthony said it. It's very pure. You don't get a script. You don't have a director telling you what your blocking is. You don't have. You yeah. know, uh, set design or lighting, everything is there for you. You know, if you need a pair of scissors, there they are. Uh, <laughs> nice. That's a very nice visual. Yes. You'll enjoy that on my, the video. My, my phone. Uh, wait, yeah, my. Uh, Have you seen that YouTube video? Yes. Uh, you got to check how, it out. How to, how to know that you're. How to spot uh, an improviser. Spot yeah. an improviser, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, hilarious. Uh, and and, and course, shockingly accurate for for those for those that uh, are listening Walking right through now. My, my, my scissors like was my uh, first and second fingers just going back and forth like a Pac-Man. You know, uh, like real scissors. Yeah, like real scissors. A yeah. closed fist does not a mug make. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but 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 that's wow. something you know. He read that on a he read that on a fortune cookie. They, they, they improvisers uh, don't <laughs> you know they they pick up something that's supposedly very heavy and you know it has no weight to it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But it, it, but and that's the skill is that you have to give these things uh, their physicalities and you have to create your own environment. Would you say that that's a focus thing or is that a, is that a, a like partnership? Is it well, a there's definitely the partnerships. Uh, as far as focus, I think that might be a different, uh, different for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can tell you with our guests that are coming in at seven, uh, they are in a world of their own uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to um, improvisation. You can put them with anyone, uh, somebody who's been performing for years, or somebody who's never performed, and they will be just mm -hmm. as just as uh, astounding either way. Uh, not not to discredit either. No, that's of fine. Course. Uh, to kind of expand on, on on saying about about the partnership aspect of things. Yeah. The point. <coughs> excuse me. The point when you're when you're watching an improv show and you see like one person on stage and like they lift something or they open something or right. they make a phone call or whatever. The second that becomes real, like truly real, is when another improv player comes out on the on the stage with them and recognizes Accepts what they're doing completely and says and, and and basically says, "Could you please hand me that big boulder you just picked up?" And all of a sudden it's like, "Oh man, magic!" Yeah. You know, these guys just made a real thing out of nothing. You know, that's where the partnership comes in. That's where that focus comes uh -huh. in from the people who aren't actively in the scene with you at the moment. You know, like you can't stop paying attention just because you're not on the stage at that Unless particular you're second. Travolta. Unless you're John Travolta, in which case, hey, yeah, do whatever. It's crazy. <laughs> well, that's. I, no, I'm sorry, radio <laughs> listeners. That was an inside <laughs> joke. <laughs> there, I, I always had one of my improv rules: don't be like uh, John Travolta and act in a bubble. Or uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, you kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, I, I, I'm going to pimp you guys out right now uh, okay. and, and ask you to no. play a simple, <laughs> a simple improv game, uh, and it, and it's one that I know that. Uh, you probably do for beginners, but uh, I'm gonna have you guys play the ABC game. All right. Uh, because no swearing. It requires okay. no uh, swearing. a minimal amount of physicality, uh, which uh, we're very confined with space here. But uh, for for those that don't know, the alphabet game is very simple, two-player game in which uh, each line of dialogue between the players will start with the uh, letter of the alphabet. So if we started with the letter A, uh, Anthony would start a line of dialogue starting with the letter A. And going back and forth, you, you yes. guys, you guys will yeah. get it in a moment. I, I, I'm, I'm sure we have to know the alphabet in order to play the game. Uh, let's let's play let's play a keyboard style where you have to go in uh, the A S T I A S T I A M I will never do it. Q W E R T Y. This game will be played in the key of C. Courtney, brought to you by the letter L. So we'll we'll make it easy. Yeah, we'll have you guys start with the letter A. But Eric, give them a a relationship. Relationship. You recently are fired by your. About seven o'clock today, we're gonna have to go in and face Mr. Johnson. Oh, Bob, Bob. Oh, I really, really don't wanna. Do, I don't wanna. I don't wanna face him. Can't you just work with me on this just once? Day at a time. I'm gonna take this a day at a time, minute by minute. Forever. 
That's how long you're going to have to take. <coughs> oh, oh no! Every day <laughs> you complain, but you never actually do anything. Forever. Forever. <laughs> this is going to take forever. God, you are just driving me crazy. Just man up. Hell. Ugh. Okay, okay. Let's, let's man up. I don't know if you're really ready for this. Just believe me, okay? I'm ready for this. Know yourself. Then you will know what to do when we go into that office. <sighs> laughing. They're gonna <laughs> laugh. They're gonna laugh at me. I hear laughing. I hear the boardroom laughing. Marcus, that is the worst thing that you could imagine right now, okay? Never mind, never mind the laughing. I'll just, I'll just open up the door and take whatever Johnson tells me. Open it. Please, please, God, please don't let me get fired. Quit praying and get to acting. Are you... <laughs> oh, random thought. What if we just quit? What if we just quit and we don't have to face it? I'll leave a note on his door and say we quit. Sure, let's just give up on all of our hopes and dreams. Just toss aside everything we care about. Totally. Let's just, just do that. Let's just do what you just said. Unacceptable. <laughs> Very acceptable. This is just is go. Let's just go and just take the bus out of here. Well, maybe that works for you, but for people like me who really care about life, and this isn't just me giving you time to come up with the next word, you <laughs> need to just deal. <laughs> xylophones! I hear them playing xylophones. In you there. always bring up xylophones when you get nervous. Zoinks! All right, good job, guys. That was really good. Not bad. You know that part about knowing the alphabet really comes in? Uh, and, and, and for improvisers out there, learn some X words. Uh, yeah. there's, there's three! <laughs> Xerox. Xylophone and Xenophone. Well, Xerox. And X-Men. 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 And, and, X -Men. X -Men. X -Men. and excellent. It always gets used. Excellent. <laughs> That's the one we let, If there's a new person that shows up and they do, yes. like, excellent, it's like, Alright. All right. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Well, <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. Not bad, not bad, guys. <laughs> if you're just now tuning in, we're talking with Anthony Barnaby and Mark Valentine from the Happy Hour Jams. Every time I say his name right, he celebrates over here like he just had a touchdown. Because I've been calling him Pete for Pete three Pete years. Valentine. Valentine. Pete Valentine. Or, or, years. or, or if uh, I got credit in the unemployed as Mark Valenti. Valenti. So. Very nice. <laughs> yep. With Valenti. the Happy Hour Jam session, you guys can watch these guys live every first and third Wednesday at Theater 7 in downtown Las Vegas from 7 to 9 p.m. It's only 10 bucks you need to get out there. But before you go, check out their Facebook page, facebook.com backslash happy hour improv. Or you could uh, go to theater7lv.com and get more information there. Glenn, do we have time for another? Oh, we also have tickets. Yeah, yeah. tune into KSHP throughout the week. They brought some tickets to the... Um, they they brought more than the requisite amount. Yeah. They can, uh, upcoming this Wednesday, or you can go to any Wednesday show with these tickets. I hope you take advantage of it. It's really, really... He's, making, acting like Mr. he's making it rain yeah. right yeah. here. With rain and tops. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got coops. <laughs> we got... <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's do another game before we take another commercial All right, Glenn. Uh, I'm trying to think of some non-physical... Uh, you can do one, can do, one like, word or, one word story. One word at a time. Story. Sure. Oh yeah. You do that. Oh it's yeah. That, 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 yeah. You know something simple. Actually, actually, <laughs> it's more fun with more than just two. Why don't the three of you play? Oh, I'm in. Yeah, because Glenn right. is not necessarily unknown for doing you know improv around here. I mean, I mean uh, that's kind of his name. Back in my day. I mean, I'm in. A, I'm in a, <laughs> we didn't call it improv back in my day. It was improvisation. <laughs> we didn't make them up. And then they tried to call us improvers. We burned them at the stake. <laughs> We, we had short form, long form, and extended LP, 8-track <laughs> form. If you were in the late night show, you were called the B-side. <laughs> and scene. 